Nútíð sagna. Simple present tense. This slide shows how to form the simple present tense of class 1 verbs, fish the flocks sagnir. When you learn a new verb, you need to learn the verb class or group to know how to conjugate it. All class 1 verbs, including aitla, follow this pattern. In the singular, all the forms have an a as part of their ending. If the verb contains an a in its stem, like tala, then there is a possibility of u-shift in the first person plural form, e.g. with tolum. This u-shift is triggered by the ö in the um ending. Class 2 verbs follow the pattern shown here. As you can see, the singular forms all have an ending containing e. The plural endings are the same as for class 1 verbs. Ye geri, thu gerir, han gerir. Ye vaki, thu vakir, han vakir. As before, if the verb contains an a in its stem, like vaka, then there is the possibility of u shift in the first person plural form, e.g., vid vokum. One other difference between class 1 and 2 verbs concerns the letter J, yorth. Many Icelandic verbs from all classes end in yorth r, ja, like birja, seja, hringja. In class 1 verbs, the yorth is maintained in all forms. As you can see here, jeg birja, þú birjar, hún birjar. Við byrjum, þið byrjirð, þeir byrja. In class 2 verbs, the your disappears before endings containing e. Segi, segir, segir, hringi, hringir, hringir. And in the plural, segið, hringið. But the your is kept when the ending starts with a different vowel. For example, Seyum, hringjum, seya, hringja. Notkun or use. As the name suggests, the simple present tense can be used to talk about something that's happening now. Thor prionar trevil. Thor nits a scarf. Quad geri thu. Quad geri thu. So far, we've only been using the present continuous to form the present tense. Like in English, the present continuous is normally used to talk about something that's happening right at this very moment. The examples here show this distinction. Quad ertu ad gera means what are you doing right now? Whereas quad geru means what do you do for work? What do you do in general in your life? This distinction isn't always as clear cut as the example here, and it does depend on the context. The simple present is also used to describe a state or condition. Farignir. Vín flaska ne búin. The bottle of wine is finished. Kötturin liggur í sófanum. The cat lies on the sofa. Here we can't use the present continuous. Fadera rigna, vin flaskan er a vera buin, kötterin er a ligja isofenum. These aren't grammatical sentences in Icelandic. We have to use the simple present. As in English, the simple present is also used to talk about routines, habits, or recurring events. One clue that we need to use the simple present is the presence of an adverb of time, such as alltaf or al Although the present continuous can sometimes be used in these kinds of sentences, they more often occur with the simple present, e.g. Thrúður fer alltaf í bónus á föstudögum. Thrúður always goes to bonus on Fridays. Bonus is an Icelandic supermarket. In the second example, there's a condition introduced by the conjunction þegar, when. 
Feder. The simple present is also used in these kinds of sentences, i.e. when X happens then I do Y. For example, Ég hjóla í vinnu þegar það er gott veður. I cycle to work when the weather is good. Like English, Icelandic doesn't have a distinctive future tense marked by a set of endings, unlike French or Italian, for example. Instead, we use a variety of methods, such as eitla, which we've seen already, to talk about things that will happen in the future. Eitla means to intend, however, so it's not suitable for every situation where we need to talk about the future. Instead, we can use the present tense with some kind of adverb of time, implying that the sentence is about the future. English does the same thing. Við förum til Spánar í næstu viku. We go to Spain next week. Mamma hittir ömmu á morgun. Mum meets grandma tomorrow. In these first two sentences, we could in fact use eitla. Við eitlum að fara til Spánar í næstu viku. Mamma eitlar að hitta ömmu á morgun. Because these sentences are about people's plans. However, we can't really say það eitlar að rigna um helgina. So we use a simple present instead. Note that það eitlar að rigna is not technically incorrect. It just doesn't mean it's going to rain. It means something more like, I suppose it's going to rain. So for now, avoid using eitla for anything other than plans, as uh, the usage of I suppose is, is quite nuanced. <laughs>